Hello and welcome back to another quick tutorial about Go.native script with Rust. Today we are looking into um, file watching. So what does it mean? We actually want to develop or continue our development and all the changes should be immediately get compiled without invoking separate comments from our end. So what we have accomplished so far was moving a sprite using our keyboard and the other one just moves along the X axis automatically. So before we can continue, you actually need to install a new tool called Targo Watch. I have already installed it on my end. However, just open a terminal and type in Cargo empty space install empty space Cargo dash watch. And this should actually install the new tool which is required in order to have this file watcher for Rust working. As you can see, it is available on GitHub. So you can have pre-built binaries available with the command or if you already have the file watcher of Rust, so Cargo Watch installed on your end, you can upgrade it to a newer version as well with the second command as shown previously. Let's assume Cargo Watch is already installed. So now let's invoke it. Therefore, we need to change to our script folder. Of course, I've done it already and then invoke the command by using Cargo space watch just opened another console to open my Vim editor. And as you can see here, we have now all warnings available out of the box because Cargo Watch is always um, rebuilding. Once we have any kind of code changes in our subdirectories within the script folder, Cargo Watch will try to rebuild it and notify us if there is any error upcoming or any issue with the code. And as you just saw previously, we have some warnings in our Cargo Watch terminal. So as a result, let's get rid of the warnings now. So every time we try to save our changes of the file, Cargo Watch will get invoked and start rebuilding our libraries or in that case, go.scripts. And as a result, we get an updated list of warnings or errors, as you can see here. And if we do not get any warnings, you see just that it successfully built it. So for a quick example, let's remove the mutable of the owner. And as a result, we get an error, as you can see. CargoWatch just updated it. So let's change it back to mutable to get rid of the error. And now let's look into the auto reload functionality or let's call it semi auto reload. What we want to achieve is we want that our uncontrolled sprite is not moving along the X axis again. So therefore let's get rid of the code and let's get rid of the warnings. Save it. Cargo watch will rebuild it did not get any errors. And now let's just reload the Godot window. And as you can see, the code did not yet update properly. This is because we need to do one addition to the Cargo Watch setup. Let's type in Cargo Watch minus H for more details and available arguments. And as you can see, you can have this minus S parameter to invoke some additional shell comments. Therefore, Cargo Watch minus S and then double quotes cargo build. And what this does is every time cargo watch is rebuilding it, afterwards it will also try to build our Godot native script. And as you can see now the uncontrolled sprite is not moving anymore because we removed the code. Now let's undo our changes and just save it and immediately change to our Godot editor and reload the window. And as you can see, our uncontrolled sprite is moving again. And just to ensure, let's now remove the code and then the sprite should not move again. And that's the more comfortable way how you can actually do go.native script development with Rust. Thank you for watching and see you next time.